Bro, I've got some scary facts to share about Halloween in class. Dude, stop tripping. The only people that get scared during Halloween are little babies. Are you sure, bro? Because I have a story about the origin of jack-o'-lanterns. Now I know you're tripping. If you're talking about those pumpkins that my mom and baby sister can barely carve a funny face into and light up for the porch, nobody is scared of jack-o'-lanterns, Frankie. Bro, you are tripping. You better stop talking so much trash before stingy Jack comes through your crib tonight. Stingy who? Bro, you've never heard of the legend of Stingy Jack? No, Frankie. I have never heard of the legend of Stingy Jack. I have been terrified of him since I first heard about him in the barbershop. What did you hear? One day at the barbershop, Mr. O'Donnell came through to help Mr. Rosebud fix some plumbing issues. The problem was, after Mr. O'Donnell fixed Mr. Rosebud's plumbing issues, Mr. Rosebud complained about how much he wanted to charge him. And that's where Mr. O'Donnell warned, don't end up like Stingy Jack. Who is Stingy Jack? Mr. O'Donnell told of an old Irish tale where Stingy Jack invited the devil to a drink with him. But Stingy Jack didn't want to pay for his drink, so he convinced the devil to turn himself into a coin that Jack had used to pay for the drinks. Now that is pretty stingy. He sure was, bro. But here's where the story has a twist. Once the devil agreed to Jack's proposal and turned himself into a coin, Jack decided to keep the money and put it in his pocket next to a silver cross. This stopped the devil from changing back into his original form. That's insane, bro. It gets even crazier. Jack would eventually free the devil. Let him go. That don't sound too smart to me. Check this out, bro. In order for Stingy Jack to free the devil, the devil agreed that for one year, he would not claim his soul and wouldn't bother Jack. A year goes by pretty fast, bro. You're right. And after that year went by, Stingy Jack tricked the devil again. The devil is stupid, bro. He was because Jack again tricked the devil into climbing into a tree to pick a piece of fruit. While he was up in the tree, Jack carved a sign of the cross into the tree's bark so the devil could not come down until the devil promised Jack not to bother him for 10 years this time. They shouldn't call him Stingy Jack. They should call him Sneaky Jack. Well, bro, it all sounded good until Jack died and ended up making his way to heaven. My guy Jack hustled his way into heaven. Not so fast, Lee. When Jack made it to heaven, it was all bad. God would not allow someone like Stingy Jack to sneak into heaven, so he turned Stingy Jack away. So what happened next? The devil couldn't take his soul, right? You're right, bro. The devil was mad, though. He was so upset by the trick that Jack had played on him that he said, I can't take you into hell, so I have to keep my word. Then what happened to Stingy Jack, bro? You're killing me. He laughed at Jack and sent him off into the dark night with one burning coal to light his way. Jack put the coal into a carved out turnip and has been walking the earth ever since as a spirit. Turnip? I'm confused, bro. Where did the pumpkins come from? Mr. O'Donnell said the Irish began to refer to the ghostly figure walking the earth as Jack of the Lantern, and then simply Jack O'Lantern. Once many Irish immigrated to America, the tale of Stingy Jack went from using turnips and potatoes into using pumpkins because there were so many here in the United States. Basically, they carved pumpkins to put them in their windows in order to frighten away Stingy Jack and other wandering spirits. Bro, I gotta go. Why? I thought you were going- Stop right there, bro. Halloween is coming and I need my sister and moms to carve some of them pumpkins like yesterday. But I thought you weren't scared, bro. Well, you know, I'm not. But, um, yeah, it's better to be safe than sorry, bro. You feel me? I feel you, bro.